How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here with another video about this brand new software I gotta introduce to you. But of course you've probably seen my other videos based on RGBs and ARGBs such as JackNet RGB. JackNet RGB runs off of Corsair as a master controller which is IQ. And then you also have your plug-in devices such as ASUS, MSI, Logitech, Razer, and the list goes on and on. Of course, you have to have that software installed for it to work properly. And then you also have bloatware because of that. And maybe that makes you uncomfortable. Maybe you don't like having all this extra software, all the extra BS, just to have your RGBs working correctly. And then you also have OpenRGB, which, which was another project which is supposed to improve on that, which removes all that bloatware. You don't have to install IQ, you don't have to install Armory Crate, you don't have to install Dragon Center. So you just have essentially a program which will work on all of your RGBs. But as all programs, it does run into its own issues and maybe it doesn't work exactly the way you want it. And therefore comes out another one. And hopefully the third time is a charm because this other one seems to be pretty damn good. And this software is called Signal RGB. Signal RGB has been just recently released and it seems to be a pretty solid product. So currently, Signal RGB does work with ASUS and Gigabyte. That is a bonus for Gigabyte fans there because I know Gigabyte doesn't have the best software out there. So you don't have to worry about installing Gigabyte Aorus or any of that other crap that they give you. You can give this a shot if you specifically have those two. If you don't and you have other peripherals, yes, it can work with your other peripherals if you don't have that as your motherboard. It does work with other keyboards. It does work with other mice. Make sure you check out the list in the description box down below to check it out. And I will also have a link to their compatibility. I'll also have the link to their compatibility. I know you just want to jump on it and see exactly how you can get it working on your PC and that's no problem because I'm here to show you exactly how you can do that. So let's get straight to the PC and I will show you exactly what to do. First things first, we got to download some open RGB here. And when we enter signal RGB, you're just going to click download now. And once you download signal RGB, it should show up in your downloads folder and you're going to open it up. Once you open it up, just make sure you hit run. You should see signal RGB come up. And because I already have it installed, follow the screen, the prompts, just make sure you don't open it right away just yet. Because of course we all know how that is. We got to make sure that you have administration rights. So make sure you go to your app, type in a signal RGB down here on the search box, right click it, run as admin. So when you run it as ad, admin, you can see the way it looks when you first open it up. Just make sure you exit out of all your other stuff like IQ or any other software that it may involve because it will mess with it. It will not work correctly. It can damage your RGBs that, that way. So make sure you exit out of all your other software here. I'm gonna show you how to navigate through this. You're gonna see that it has different features you're going to see that it has free. You're going to see it has lighting. These are all the free type of things that you can have on your PC installed. When you have these on your PC installed, you just select a specific one such as heat map and you just click install and it will do and it will have that specific application or that specific effect on your PC. Now, when you click this menu button up top here, make sure you go to my rig. When you go to my rig, you can see all the different profiles that your PC build has or your pre-built PC gets recognized from a signal RGB. I hope you fam bam, you guys listened to me earlier about any compatibility issues, because if you did, you'll know that it does not work with anything other than ASUS and gigabyte as far as i know that is confirmed 
But if it does work for you and you're trying it on something like MSI or Ace Rock, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. Let the fan bam know because they're looking just as bad as you guys are too. So as you can see, it recognizes my board here. It recognizes or, or a controller, gaming mouse, or LED controller. It recognizes that stuff. This is all specifically the motherboard of the PC. So we want to go back here. In order for it to work properly, you have to make sure that you go under devices. When you are under devices, it's saying it will give you a warning if it recognizes something is running. Make sure you go to lighting services dot execute because what that is, is under your task manager here, it's under your services and make sure that your service is completely ended. Otherwise you will run into issues. So. As you can see, it is running. You don't want it running because it can damage your RGBs that way. So let's stop it. And then if you probably noticed all this crazy flashing in the background because for you guys, I just want to show you exactly what it would look like. It would look like it's going stir crazy. Now that service has completely stopped. Now it can do its job of following the theme that you selected. Now you can see it goes back to normal here in your screen. You can see your mouse, you can see your keyboard. And usually if any of these lighting surfaces are running, it will let you know. It will give you a warning that your lighting service is running for that very specific product. What you also have to do to activate this, to make this work, you might be wondering exactly why are your ARGB fans not working? Why are your RGB fans not working? Why are certain RGBs in your PC not working correctly? Why are these LEDs not showing? And I'll show you why. Because when you go to your motherboard here, you wanna go to your configurations and you wanna go down to your header count. As you can see, I have 12 volt RGB header count. I have one RGB specifically for this PC and that's just the fans. Only the fans are RGBs in my PC. Now it will ask you the custom strip size of your uh, LEDs that you have for that unit. And it will ask you exactly how much five volt headers you have activated in your PC that are a RGBs, which is five volt. So as you can see, I have custom. It does not recognize uh, where they do not list the very specific RG A RGB that I have for my PC. And as you can see, now I have it properly selected. Also, another thing I have to mention is if you're doing something such as uh, having Corsair products in your PC, just like I do, you have to go under your devices. And when you go under your devices here, you have to go to your Corsair link and go under your configurations. When you go under your configurations, you have to go down to your channel port and you have to select what kind of port Corsair products that you have on your PC, such as my channel one for three ports. I do have Corsair ML fans, so I do have to select Corsair ML fans. Otherwise, you will not see it visually. And on my channel two port, I have my Corsair strip LED lights and I, I have those set to those correct parameters as I have four LED strip lights inside of my PC. When you do it correctly, when you add these effects, you will see it respond back on your PC. When you go back down here, you will see your fans and you will also see your RGB headers. You will also see your LED, you will also see your LED strip lights that you do have installed on your PC. Otherwise, you will not get the full effect that you get out of your signal RGB. Now, because I have these two custom, it will also, you have to hit that back button here. It will show up down here on the lower end. As you'll notice, it should be under ASUS or LED controller. And you can actually even customize it through this way. If you want it through streaming enabled, your brightness for it, you can adjust it down and up that way. So you can kind of see what this liquid theme looks like. And you can see the different effects. 
as you can go under effects and you can even adjust the wave width exactly how you would like it the wave speed and as you can see the responding you test you can test it by hitting the arrow keys and you can see your rgb is responding in that way so another thing that you got to do with signal rgb is you have to go under your settings here you want to enable onboard um, devices if you enable onboard devices then it you have to restart it so that way it has more compatibility with the rgbs in your pc so it is experimental so let's give it a shot and see if it responds any better Hey fam, man, guys, if you don't have a virtual private network, a VPN, then you're surfing the net unsecured. Hackers can know your bank information, and besides, you can do really cool things, such as watch your favorite movies that you can't watch here in the U.S., such as uh, currently I'm connected to Hong Kong's network, and I can go here onto Netflix and watch something that I can't watch here in the U.S., now I can watch something cool like this, something here I can't watch in the US. So get ExpressVPN. If you want to get ExpressVPN, I have it exclusively for you, fam bam, for two months free. And you can try it out and it's also great for gaming. So another great feature that you can do, you can actually have Signal RGB follow the sounds of your PC. Currently it's sleeping all the RGBs now because I have selected audio spectrum so it on, will only respond to sound so i will play a song for example i will just go to spotify and just play something on the top 50 and let's give it a shot see what it sounds like And as you can see, it's responding to the sound, to the music that I'm playing. So in order for everything to work properly, you gotta make sure you go under your devices, go under effects, and under audio spectrum, if you're playing such a song, you can see it is visually uh, playing the sound so you just have to highlight exactly where you need your RGBs or your ARGBs exactly where you want it. That is one of the very few and very rare exceptions that you can get from a program such as Signal RGB. So now we can stop this. So the really nice thing about Signal RGB, you can play games such as Call of Duty Cold War and it does have a theme for it. It will actually follow it visually, your RGBs. So it will monitor it through your RGBs such as your health, grenades, ammo, and everything. But you can't do that with the free version. In order to do that, you have to do the paid version. Otherwise, you'll get this nice little blinking white light instead so fam bam, guys you can see that signal rgb is a beautiful product it looks wonderful it is pretty quick and it's really not that bad of an offer but it is still in beta mode and unfortunately i just won't use it and the reason why is because i still preferably use jack that rgb on top of this it still seems it has problems with asus trx 40 boards i've contacted signal rgb through discord and i've also contacted signal rgb through support i did get an email back luckily from them and they have responded that they do not support trx 40 boards maybe they will in the future hopefully but they don't mention or indicate any of that in the email so guys fam bam i hope you enjoyed this video if you did and you found it very useful make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you enjoy content just like this make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and also don't forget to hit that notification bell if you don't follow my twitter it is right here as it is the same as my instagram and my tiktok as well fam bam guys let me know what you think of 
signal rgb and also if you have any questions just post it down below and i will try to help you the best way that i can thank you guys so much for watching this is chris mizo signing out